Welcome to our kitchen laboratory headquarters, where we're answering all the questions you've ever had about food with real science. We know that double dipping isn't polite, but is it a real health hazard? Food tech, dip the chip. And we'll take you for a spin. Faster, food techs, faster! To find out if ginger really prevents motion sickness. Whee! Plus, we'll look into other questions, such as, does cold water boil faster than hot water? And we'll cut to the chase as we learn how to chop onions without crying. So join me, Ted Allen, as we investigate these burning questions. It's getting serious now. Oh boy. On Food Detectives. What snack could be more delicious than a salty, crispy chip? Chips and dip. A combination so popular it's inspired such innovations as this technology, a scoop-shaped chip designed to permit a greater dip-to-chip ratio. But there's a controversial technique that allows one to go far beyond what should be the dip-holding capacity of any single chip, the double dip. Universally condemned, but widely practiced, to double dip is to bite a chip and then take what's left and dip it again. It's obviously icky, but we want to know, is it really that unsanitary? To help with our experiment, Dr. Adam Rubin, a molecular biologist and a renowned chip and dip expert. Doctor. Hi, Ted. Hi. Now, the truth is, in your mouth, there are more bacteria than the number of people on Earth. Whoa. Bacteria meaning germs. Not necessarily. The main question we want to ask is how many bacteria will transfer from your mouth into a bowl of dip on a chip? I see. Now, the first question we'd like to ask is what kinds of bacteria are living in the mouth of our dip-loving food tech? I'm not sure I want to know. Let's swab them and see what grows. Actually, it's kind of weirdly beautiful. Our food tech is harboring colonies of Streptococcus, Prevotella, and Vianella bacteria. So nobody should make out with them. Actually, there's nothing surprising here. Those are the three most common types of bacteria found in the human mouth. So nobody should make out with anybody? Well, that's up to you. Or, more often, them. <laughs> now that we know what types of bacteria are inside of his mouth, let's find out exactly how many are transferred into a bowl of dip. 